What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is your host, Avery, here. And I want to talk about the whole state of Yu-Gi-Oh! at this point. Because, really, things have gone on like this for far too long. And I think that it's really not even a sign of the times anymore. It's a sign that Konami is just so damn scared of doing anything about organized play at this point, And that they want to push remote duels so damn bad that they just don't even want to do in-person events for the foreseeable future. So, what am I talking about? Um, the other day, they came out with an update to their organized play. For whatever reason, it's not on the main website. You have to click on their Twitter link, which I'm going to show here in a minute. Um, but basically, it just says um, that organized play and in-store promotional events will be postponed through at least June 30, 2021, unless the situation improves dramatically prior to that and continued overall efforts of monitoring developments and, upta and updates related to the ongoing pandemic. The pandemic's over. Shut up. We are specifically monitoring the current vaccination new infection rates throughout the Americas. So, you know, the U.S., if areas within America show signs of improvement, such as low case rates and or high vaccination rates, we may begin to open up specific territories on a case-by-case -case basis. We will be sure to provide updates here as applicable. And of course, then they advertise how June 26th to 27th is the Remote Dual Invitational and the YCS and I think the YCS in July. Yeah, the YCS in July 10th through 11th. So really, this should just say that they're postponing until the end of July because the Remote YCS is scheduled for July 10th through 11th. And I'm really hoping hoping to God that the attendance is low as shit because I'm so tired of Konami just pushing remote duels down our throats. And here's the Twitter link. Um, as you can see, uh, I now have a Twitter, so if you want to follow me, it's at FCNALR. Um, be sure to follow me on Twitter for all, not Yu-Gi-Oh! related stuff, but I work in the news industry. So if you ever want to follow me on Twitter, that's my Twitter. Um, then, of course, they have the link here on Twitter. And, you know, before when I looked at this stuff, um, people, majority of people said, hey, this isn't a big deal, you know, whatever, but a lot of the people were like, they were casuals, like they played Link Evolution, they played Dual Links, they'd ask for an updated ban list and shit like that, um, but a lot of competitive players are talking about this post, and as you can see, my, my post is at the top here, you could literally reopen events uh, case by case basis right now. Florida and Georgia are perfect examples, which is true. Us here in Florida, I live in Jacksonville, Florida. We have been reopened for months. You know, like you can wear a mask, you don't have to wear a mask, you can do whatever the hell you want. Um, this guy makes a good point as well. People want real life events. Anybody who wants a vaccine can get one. Let us play. Here's the thing that Konami could have done months ago, and I'm going to go back to that Twitter link in a minute. Is that back when the vaccine first started coming out, they could have released. Uh, events on a case-by-case -case basis even then. Again, Florida has been reopened. Texas is reopened. California and New York are starting to reopen. And California has been shut down since like the dinosaur age at this point. <laughs> um, Georgia is fully reopened. Like you have all these places that are fully reopened, ready to go. And doing remote duels, like you've put so much time, like one person said, you put so much time into the, into the remote duel YCS. Like, yeah, you know, it makes sense why you wouldn't want to, but it's still, you know, really shitty. You know, and with the remote devices happening in July, this might as well just said that they're canceling events until July 30th because they could reopen events now. But I think what they want to avoid is one, they want to avoid a lawsuit because they're so chicken shit scared of someone getting COVID from an event. Uh, and number two, because they want as many people as they can getting on remote duels to go to the YCS and to play remotely and whatever. But here is something that I want to show you of a card shop owner. And I want to see. If I can find it here, here, he made a good point. He said, I'm not getting behind this. Been running in-person events since last summer. When it started, we did eight-person events, screens, distancing, and all. Now we have a mass amount of players vax, nearly 70%, and we have events limited to just vaccine players. No good, Konami. You better not drop OTS 16 then. Stop giving us stuff intended to promote in-store play and purchasing when you, when you have nixed one side of that completely. We have a 200-person Discord, and no one wants to remote duel. The players in the CDC have spoken. Why haven't you listened? And I actually replied to this, and I said, Konami is too scared to bring events back at this point. He said, I get it. They planned way in advance that their precious remote Yu-Gi-Oh! Day and remote YCS qualifier were to be uh, don't 
at home. I think he meant at home. But anyway, here in Chicago, all you have to do is look at numbers. My shop's hitting 25 plus every Saturday. We have people leaving Discord because we have in-shop events. We try to do it right. We try to make Konami happy, but they never sent us more than 15 webcam arms. They super crunched us on OTS packs, even though they were used to be as purchase promos. You only got more if you ran remote duels. They made it difficult on purpose. And I replied here and I said, yeah, that sounds about right. I'm tired of Konami and their BS. They're so afraid of a lawsuit. That's the only reason why they don't have events at this point it has to be the only reason i hope your shop continues to grow this guy said the cdc ended the mask mandate in places like texas and florida have been mask free for a minute now at least make this a state-by-state -state case instead of ruining the entire community's fun and and this guy made a good point too. just end support at this point products are already getting harder to find and that's true like you look at prices on tcg player and like boxes are going through the roof like i remember when i bought a uh, 11 boxes almost bought a whole case of uh, what was it rise of the duelist whatever the trick store set was and when firewall dragon came out and began the link era um i bought basically a case and i, I have that opening on my channel um and now if you want like a box of that that's like over a hundred dollars probably even higher than that um not even to mention old boxes like the early 2000 sets and stuff forget that like you want you want what is it the what i think it was like strike of neos or something whatever had uh dark neos on the front of the set that's like five grand you know legend of blue eyes boxes those things are six figures like just the prices are for old stuff are getting insane prices for new stuff is insane you know you look at um even battles of legend relentless revenge that had the chaos or the ten thousand dragon that's twelve hundred dollars um you even look at things like lightning storm those things are a hundred bucks been droplets a hundred bucks you know like shit's expensive right now and if konami really just does not want to support in-person play you know at least do your local card shops right that want to that you know are able to run remote duels or even at least reward those that are doing in-person events and still being safe quit shitting on your community you know this is the issue that konami has always had with people for years uh, or that people have had with konami for years excuse me is that they just they don't communicate you know they give these broad bullshit blog posts that don't mean anything like like what what does the vaccination and infection rate need to be for events to come back? You know, why are you saying until June when the YCS is scheduled in July? Why not just be honest and say, look, you know, we put a lot of time into putting this YCS together. We really hope that you check it out. You know, until the YCS happens, we're postponing events. At least be honest and say, look, we really hope you check out this YCS. Instead of just being chicken shit, saying that you're delaying until June. Because it's not going to be till June. It's going to be at this point until July or August because you're just being an ass. And again, you might as well end support for the game because people are tired of this bullshit and I'm one of them. I have said from the beginning that remote duels are bullshit because people are going to cheat. People are going to ruin the fun for everybody. And guess what? People have already done that. And there are so many examples out there. Capital G has posted several examples. Um, you know, you can, you can find them online. You can find them everywhere. And I refuse to participate in something where if everyone's going to cheat in the room, by God, I'm going to cheat too. I don't want to cheat. But if everybody else in the room is going to cheat, you know, if you can't beat them, join them. I'm going to stack those lightning storms. I'm going to stack that ash blossom. I'm going to stack my meltdown in my invoker. Like, it, that shit's going to happen. This Y says, do you really think that this Y says is going to run perfectly smoothly? No. The person that wins is probably going to be stacking his deck the whole way through. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if Mystic Mind somehow won. I mean, just... It's, it's going to be a baby back bullshit event. It's going to be dumb. It's going to be stupid. Konami, you could have brought back events even three months ago. You can do things on a case-by-case -case basis right now. Period. End of discussion. You can start off in Florida. You can start off in Georgia. You can even start off in Texas. You need to quit being so scared honestly or you just need to quit being money hungry and trying to get as much money as you can during this pandemic because again products hard to find right now um i've heard stories where even some walmarts and targets and things like that are not only not selling pokemon cards but they're also not selling Yu-Gi-Oh cards which you can thank logan paul and whatever the other investors are for that shit that's all their fault um but besides the point you know <sighs> Yu-Gi-Oh is not what it was anymore it's not, you know, pe people asked for years, you know, what was it that was going to kill Yu-Gi-Oh? Was it going to be a new game mechanic? Was it going to be this and that? No, it, it, it's Konami themselves because they are so chicken shit scared of a pandemic uh, or as Blame Truth says, a pandemic uh, that they're just so scared to bring back events. And there's no reason to. There's really not. 
you can bring back events right now and nothing's going to happen. The only thing that I think that they would have to look out for is the fact that, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh players are messy. Let's not let's not kid ourselves a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh players are messy. I can't tell you how many events I've been to where I've seen a bunch of empty packs scattered on the floor from people opening up shit. You know, there's going to be a bunch of masks on the on the regional floor, the convention room floor, like that shit's going to happen. So Guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, what, what's your whole opinion on this? Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.